Sage Sigdell, Anchor, The Lewis Cottage. Phil Reed, Reporter, Panhandle Cottage. Nick Harmon, Reporter, Webster Cottage. Luke Fraley, Reporter, Randolph Cottage. Ethan Lovejoy, Anchor, Marion Cottage. Clark Gillespie, Reporter, Randolph Cottage. Dirk Shoemaker, Reporter, Marion Cottage. Ashton Klein, Editor, Canal Cottage. Jay Staler, Webster Cottage. Hi, I'm Clark Gillespie. And I'm Nick Harmon. And welcome back to Full Send News. Let's head right into the topics. Wednesday night was our general elections, and a press conference that night covered the results to a crowd of waiting spectators. These results included the race for governor, which is the most anticipated uh, announcement of the week. The winner for the governor's race here at Boys State 2022 is Will Barron. Yeah! We have these words from the governor explaining his thoughts on the race and his party as a whole. There was, we were debating on the legalization of a certain recreational substance, and half of our party agreed with it, and half of our party didn't agree with it. And the, the, the only time that I thought we were getting divided was when the Federalists, which are the other party in Boise State, uh, who were fully in support of it, came to the people from our party who supported it, and they were like, hey, vote for us. Another anticipated result was for the Secretary of State position. We have some words from the newly elected Secretary of State, Samuel Stoller, who gave us this interview mere minutes after he won the election. I, I feel great. I brought myself a, a suit, so I'm, I'm happy that I finally get to put it to use. And I just want to thank all my voters and all my supporters and everybody that, that, that believed in me, even through uh, my, my tripping up through that speech. Um, and I'm just glad that we came out on top. Thank you. As part of the political process, much of the public's opinion comes into play in how we elect our officials. This is what a few of the citizens had to say about the election results. I feel like we made some good decisions, to be honest. Even though I'm a Federalist, I'm glad that some of the Nationalists got, um, got the opportunity to get up there and do what they did. I think some of them were just a better option. Results. I like to see the mixture of both parties being incorporated. I do like that Willie B won the election, I must say. That debate was quite interesting. We also have the results for the remainder of the state held offices, which include the following. Auditor, Thomas Nixon. Treasurer, Atticus Reese. Attorney General, Xander Lamb. Commissioner of Agriculture, Colin Street. Now that the government is elected, they are working and operating smoothly to make a better boy state. As of Wednesday, Mount Air Boy State has gained a plethora of new laws and practitioners. New lawyers and judges were sworn in the Boy State Supreme Court after a quick ceremony. These citizens will begin to practice law immediately defending, prosecuting, and conducting trials for the rest of the week. Yesterday, the Boy State Fire Department was offered the opportunity to do something most people have never done. They packed their things and headed down the road to the WVU State Fire Training Academy. Although it was a hot day at the training academy, these young men geared up in legitimate fire gear and were trained on how to put out a fire with a fire hose. We were able to talk to Richard Martinez, who was part of the training. So what we just did is we took the uh, fire hose and we approached the car fire, sweeped it, and then we went in the car and put out the fire. When asked if he had anything else to say, this is what he had to say. Uh, we're better than the state police, for sure, 100%. State police don't get to put out fires. As many of you know, traffic laws have went into effect last night. Police officers will be now patrolling around their respective cabins. Here's a word from Colonel Torres about regarding traffic laws. The traffic laws, so speeding is essentially running. You're two feet off the ground in one stride. So if anybody is patrolling their areas around their cabin, they see you running down the sidewalk, running down the highway, they will give you a citation. Right hand turn is bend at the elbow. Left hand turn is horizontal, straight out. And when you stop at a stop sign, you're gonna essentially have to use a verbal command. There's no hand command. Make sure to follow all traffic laws to avoid getting pulled over and ticketed by county and state officers. 
As of Wednesday, all of the unemployed citizens of Boy State receive jobs. This is great for those newly hired individuals because now they have a way to obtain the money to finish out the rest of camp and can receive a directive to learn new skills. These jobs include many state and county positions in addition to other standard citizen jobs. Over the course of the week, citizens have been given the opportunity to obtain jobs that they are interested in. Boy State has one new program this year, Forensics. While many may not understand what it entails, the Forensic Supervisor, Jacob Atkins, informed citizens on the program. Well, Forensics, basically, Forensics is the study of a crime scene and what happened there. Uh, you can, uh, by gathering the evidence and then examining the evidence, so say like a bullet casing, if you dust it for a fingerprint, you can get a fingerprint off of possibly somebody who committed the crime or somebody who was there, maybe moving evidence to possibly hide something. And it's, it's a really interesting um, subject. The forensics team enjoys working along with one another and have a lot of interest in their role. As shown, they may have different methods to catch criminals. Speaking of crime, a man has been charged with murder at Boy State. This came after allegedly shooting someone with a handgun twice and killing them outside of Lewis Cottage on Wednesday night. According to the witness, the murder allegedly occurred after the victim and the suspect had been arguing outside the cottage when the witness heard gunshots. Ryan Basil Basil ran out of our cabin and ran out onto the sidewalk. And then Seth ran after him yelling and then Ryan turned around and shot him twice on the sidewalk. The suspect in question is former governor candidate Ryan Basil. He had this to say about the situation. What do you have to say about yourself? No comment. Did you did you or did you not shoot that man? No comment. Another run-in with the law happened around 10 o'clock Thursday morning in front of Webster Cottage. Citizen Reese Carpenter is back in police custody after allegedly stabbing an officer and escaping the prison. We had the chance to talk to the warden on the situation. We reported to a call of our officer being stabbed by um, a prisoner in the rec yard. Also in affiliation with Webster Cottage, two members, Quinn Healy and Counselor Creed Neville, of the cabin were suspected in alleged poaching of the rare black bellied white tailed deer only seen in Boyd State. We were able to talk to both the DNR and the suspect in question about what occurred Wednesday night. So I arrived on scene, I was escorted through the detention center, and when I arrived on the scene, suspects were there. There was a black bellied white tailed deer, unfortunately, laying on the ground dead, and we just investigated the scene from there. Well, I'm, a, I'm accused uh, of poaching uh, a black belly white tailed deer. Um, not true whatsoever. Uh, me and my counselor Creed, concerned citizens, heard gunshots, went to investigate outside our cabin. Um, you know, next thing we know, we're uh, cuffed up and going to jail. You know, we have cooperated 100% fully with law enforcement. Um, we're trying to help because we're just as invested in finding who killed this deer as the police are. That is all we have for you, citizens. Tune in next time for our next show. And remember to full send. Hey, loser. What's so special about you, huh? You gotta take pills from me. Come on. Come over here. Come on. What is it? Come on. Come on. Come on. What? Need more pills to tell me what this is? Come on. What is it? It's a trash can. It's a trash can. You know what I'm gonna do with it? No. No. I'm gonna put it in? No. Hey. Quit bullying him. You don't know what he's going through right now. You don't know why he might be on pills. What if something happened in his life that just like makes it really difficult for him? Come on. Come on. Hi, this is Thomas Nixon, your state auditor. The prices are in for the tax auction happening tonight. First off, the WV building with a starting price of $1,417.25. This property is valued at $283,450. Next, we have the volleyball courts, valued at $18,275. The auction start for this property is $91.38. Finally, the big one, we have the mill grounds, which are valued at 
$350. The starting price for this is $6,446. Thank you. Go. Hey, I'm Brady Carr. And I'm Dylan McDay. Did you know you have rights? Well, the Constitution says you do. And, and so, so do we. Did you get in trouble drinking or texting while driving? Get caught without proper licensing? Or run a bus through a parade of citizens? Well, you better call. Roll your, your dice, dice law firm. firm. You might win, you might not. Take a chance and roll the dice. Go. Better roll the dice! For any action, the client can't. Stunning fees starts at $500 now. You will be charged. Additional fees, be a big case, give a case, or pay in the butt. So call 304-1234-5679.